Tell us what's going on with with ebooks and um, kind of your initial thoughts about things. So this week, Bookshop.org announced that they will be adding ebooks to their roster, which again sounds well and good. I mean, you probably can't go into your local independent bookstore and say, "I'd like to buy an ebook, please." <laughs> it's not really <laughs> a thing. A that, flash drive, yeah, they, right? Yeah. Exactly. I don't know what they do. All right, we've scraped some bits off the page, and here you go. <laughs> um, now, this came with some caveats to it. I mean, I think this idea is great. Um, you know, opening that up to independent bookstores is fantastic. And bookshop.org, I will say, I have not done any specific work with them, but many of the books that I've written are listed through there because it's basically a store like Amazon or Kobo or Barnes & Noble. However, there are some challenges here, right? And, and what I find interesting about it is all these obstacles are put in place basically by bigger companies, whether they be publishers or big tech companies. Mm -hmm. So for example, one of the problems is, um, as always, as, as so often is common, these eBooks are protected by DRM, digital rights management. Now, pretty much any book you buy anywhere, Amazon, Apple Books, Barnes & Noble, whatever, is protected by some sort of DRM scheme. This means that, for example, if bookshop.org, you want to be able to buy an eBook from them and read it, you're going to have to use their app, 